السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على أفضل المصطفين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تعبد إلى يوم الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم ثم ما بعد الحمد لله This evening we are going to be having or looking at uh, some of the ayat still belonging to Surah Al-Mulk Surah Al-Tabaraka In our last sitting we talked about Promises of Allah, traits of Allah, and uh, we mentioned lessons and uh, exemplary punishments that are uh, as mentioned by Allah. Where we said four ayat were dedicated to discuss this from Aamintum Manfis Samai. And Yahsifa Bikumula Arudo Fe is here Tamur, where we said, Do you feel secure? Are you comfortable that Allah will not cause the earth to consume you, to swallow you, having earthquake or the likes? Or Allah will not send a punishment upon you. And by then you will see how the promise of Allah it's, uh, it's actually true. Then Allah now gave, He gave us. Or he mentioned to us Ibro, which is a lesson now or the exemplary punishment where he said in Ayah 18, Walla Kodi Kazaba Lezina Min Koblihim Fakei Fakana Nakir, where we mention among those Allah has punished, and he saw how truth or how clear the promises of Allah were. We mention Samud. We mentioned many, many others. We mentioned Pharaoh. We mentioned Lut. And how they were destroyed. And how we said today. Today, in our community, we are almost having a combined scene of just one. Let's say Lut had one. Pharaoh one, Eka one, Samud one, Ad one, but we are almost having our own time, almost bringing everything together. DVD, no, it's DVDs, bringing together of uh, different uh, films, CD together then. So DVD now will take 20 films together. So our own, and uh, Allah just left us. And that's why he's not asking you. So do you now think Allah is not capable of punishing you the way he punished those before you? Now, let us look at the mentioning of the punishment of Allah concerning the Ummah that came before us. Or if we, after looking at that, let us now see evidence that Allah is capable of handling his affairs himself. He don't need any one of us. If we should all decide to worship Allah without associating partner with Allah, always give up sadaqah, always observe our, our fasting, we establish our salat, that will not reduce anything from the kingship, from the mulk of Allah. It will not add to it. If we all decide to commit sin, as mentioned in the hadith, it will not mazada manakosa. It will not increase decrease anything from what is with Allah and the Prophet except like mikhiyat needle when you dip it into an ocean. If Allah should decide to give us everything we need, so you should not think Allah has not given you what you ask for is because you don't have it. But people who are asking are too much, so Allah decide to reduce it. No. These are not attributes befitting of Allah. 
Then from the proof, the first one, ayah 19, he mentioned, Awalam yaraw ila toiri fawkahum fati wa yakubibn ma yumsikuhun illa rahman innahu bi kulli shay'in basir Awalam yaraw ila toir or kohum so fati uwa yakubidun. Allah said, Awa lam yaro ila toir. Don't they see the birds? Don't they see yaro? Don't they see me and you? Don't you see the birds? For kohum above them. Don't you, don't me and you see the birds above us flying so fat that is basi taught ajini hatuhuna. Spreading their wings when flying, we are forbidden, and at a time they, 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 they fold it, flapping them, spreading the wings, and bringing them together. The birds, you know, in everything, they are signs of Allah. Allah said, Don't they see the birds? But they thought spreading their wings, they close. Spread and close again. That's their own method of movement. Partially spreading it that way. Ma yumsiku hunna illa rahman. Nothing yumsik. Nothing holds them. Nothing sustains them from falling. Illa rahman except the merciful one. Uh, we have never thought of it. Yeah, try. Jump one day and do your hand like this and see if you will hang. Especially when we want to remember the law of gravity. Something that is heavy. I do not wish should come down. Why is bed not coming down? Mayum sekuhuna, nothing is holding it that when they spread it, close, spread again. Nothing is holding that bed there, standing like that. In Rahman, except with the power of Abrahman. Allah used the Abrahman there. The merciful God, because we've already established in Surah Al Fatiha that He's Abraham, merciful to everyone, whether you are good, you are bad, jinn, human, you worship, you don't worship Him, He's merciful. And we said nobody can be described as Rahman. And we said we should be very careful of calling people, people bearing Abdul Rahman, and we drop the Abdul eh? Rahman. And I said sometimes it don't look funny, Ramone, Ramone. Indeed, Allah is the one who sees everything. It is Allah. He is the seer of everything. Allah is directing our attention to the beds now. Because he wants to let us know his, his, the proofs that he is capable. He can do this. Who amongst us can do that? I am not even saying you should make the bed fly. You fly. You know, you, if you can't make yourself fly, how do you make some, something fly? Well, it's not possible. The birds in the air, flying. Nothing holds them, as Allah has mentioned. Allah makes it very easy for them. Comfortably, they are moving. Not falling, but the kindness and the rahmah of Allah held them like that in the middle of the sky. This is one of those things that should make us to know that Allah is capable of handling. Ah, look at that earthquake happening recently. We've been hearing it. It's one of the signs of the last day. Among the signs, many signs, many. And among those signs, there are some that has come and passed. Meaning there are some that will come and go. There are some that will keep coming until the final day. There are some that already they are gone. There are some that are presently with us and uh, keep existing. And there are some that are yet to be seen. Especially the major signs. The major signs will come after one another 
and uh, that is what will now usher in the day of Kiyama. So the major sign will not come and go. And the major signs, we have the, the, the Dajjal, the coming of Isa, alayhi salam, the Yajuju or Majuju, that's the Gog and Magog, the Imam Mahadi, the rising of the sun from the, from the west, the coming of the Daba, the beast, writing the Kafaro, as explained in the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa the smoke that will gather to all these other, these major signs will come. But there are many signs. And almost many of the signs are, are, have come and gone. The first sign, as mentioned by scholars, is the coming of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second sign is the death of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentioned in, this, in the Hadith himself. His coming is a sign. His going is a sign. He mentioned part of the signs is the killing, the fitna, fitna everywhere. One of the signs is that one, the one who is killing, don't you know why he's killing the person he's killing? And the one that is being killed, don't you know why he was being killed? The killer, don't you know why he's killing <laughs> the killer? May Allah make it easy for us. Then let us look at other discussions. Even though this discussion is being captured in eight ayats, which is the scolding, the rebuking of the non-Muslims because of what they have taken, Ibadatul Asnam, because they have taken Asnam, idols. They have taken, you know, idols, it is imagery because it is something image. That's what they carve. And it stands to represent their God. Then Allah now, after scolding them, he cautioned them or informed about the idol they have established. Then Allah now reaffirm his proofs and confirm his Burhan again. He said in Ayah 20, Jalla subhanahu. أَمَّنْ هَذَا الَّذِي هُوَ جُنْدٌ لَكُمْ يَنْصُرُكُمْ مِنْ دُونِ الرَّحْمَنِ إِنِ الْكَافِرُونَ إِلَّا فِي غُرُورِ In response to the mushrikun, those that associate partner with Allah, those that are seeking help and assistance from the idols, they are seeking for sustenance from them. Allah now said, Aman haza lezi huwa jundu laku. Is there any other person that can serve as jund, as supporter, as army for you? Do you have anyone who will stand as army for you? Menduni Rahman, apart from Allah. Yes, it can come in another way. Do you have anyone that can stand for you if Allah decides to handle you? Or do you have any other person that can protect you, that can prevent you, that can prevent others from hurting you apart from Allah? Who is it that will be an army for you? Minduni Rahman, Iyansurukum, that will help you. Minduni Rahman beside Allah, apart from Allah. Who is it? Or what, what, what can assist us? You are in a car. How many times have we had people in bulletproof car and they were still killed? Allah will create something that will bring you out. Something will force you out. Maybe to quickly excrete the way to pass through. Just buy table water because you don't even drink pure water. So immediately you wind down, something else has happened. And you'll see that man that has been going about with his bicycle. People try to catch him two to three times. They did not succeed. Because this ayah is working. Aman haza lezi huwa jundu lakum yan sorukum that will assist you. Minduni Rahman. Apart from Allah. If Allah intends to put you to action because of your deeds. Because of the way you talk. The way you behave. You think you have arrived. Nobody can talk to you. You cannot bring yourself down. Go to the mosque and start prostrating. When already you see yourself as God. As in charge. And at the end of the day, you start standing with slaves. 
poor people. Because the legs have to be joined together. And that's not what you want. Because these are people that ordinarily, they cannot even come close to your gates. Now you are standing together. So, if Allah intend to hold you, to take you to action, who is it that will assist you? Mendun Rahman, in al kafirun illa fi burur. Allah said, in al kafirun the disbelievers, they are in nothing but self-deceit. They are just in delusion. They are just being deceived by Shaitan. They have not thought of it. Shaitan has made their affairs, their things very beautiful for them. He has beautified it for them that they are in delusion now. They are thinking, ah, no, we can we can stand for ourselves. Don't you see what they said when Allah mentioned Alayha tis atasha that over it at this atasha what you could find, uh, one of the one of them said uh, so they are just uh, 19 <laughs> i can handle many of them the the angels in hell sir. they are just 19 ah <laughs> so he means he will, he will taught uh, the angels are uh, uncountable just 19 to prevent me from going out and allah just leave them that 19 even without angels, what, where, where, where do you go? Uh, let's come to what the lie, what the lie, Masala Allah, Allah, Allah. Let's come to our our prat, our our example. You are being caught by an armed policeman, not even a man, kept you somewhere, and he's sitting somewhere with his gun, hand somewhere, <laughs> looking at you. The door is even open. So again, you need to say, officer, I want to. We are now comparing Allah's angel. Who is it that will give you assistance, that will assist you, that will prevent you from punishment when Allah intends evil for you? Nobody. Huh? Look at, let's come back to the earthquake we just mentioned. Look at people very strong. If it is fight, they will deal with you. These are people that, if people like me, somebody like me, three times you will come, one of them will handle ordinary shake with one hand but when Allah shook them and we are not better than them they have not committed any sin worse than us so you should not think ah, it's because they are very bad that's the way Allah that's why Allah handled them that way or because I am so good that's why Allah have not uh, it is still from the mercy of Allah we are still giving that chance to repent and return to Allah. May Allah grant us quick return as soon as possible. But the kufar, they are being deceived. They are being deceived by shaitan. Because from what Allah has mentioned to us, it is, was a yan Allah shaitan. Shaitan always beautify their work for them. And this ayah, as Shao Kani, he said, it is just telling us, just a question, that, Anahu la dalakum, yamna ukumin azabillah, there is no, no, no army, no fortress, no shield for you, if Allah intends to, to hurt you, nobody can prevent you from the punishment of Allah. And as I said, we should picture ourselves. We should not think Allah is talking to people. Eh? They call it a third person, plural ko. We don't know them. It will be of, of no benefit if we have nothing to share. Why will Allah be telling us story of people that he has already destroyed? Why? What is that? To know what? And what's the essence? Telling us he has destroyed them. Hey, you have destroyed them. Now leave them. When you meet on the day of Kiyama, you discuss it. No. It is for you to know that if you follow the same path, if myself, I yourself should follow the same path, like them, this is what will happen. So it is for us to, that is why it is able or now. It is a punishment, but it should serve as example for us. And that was what we said. Exemplary punishment. It is a punishment, not just a story now, but to serve as example for us. Then Allah now mentioned in Ayah 21, Amman haza lezi yaruzuku kum in amsaka rizko baladju fi otuwi wanufur Aman has a lazy. Or, oh, because you already said, who is it to protect you? Aman has a lazy who are jundulakum. 
Rahman. He now said, Amman has a levy. Yarzukumi namsaka ruzko. Or who is it? Yarzukukum that will provide for you. I think this one is this one is very practical. How many of us have cash? Who is it that will provide for you? Anyway, you, 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 you can get money anywhere now. Okay, go to bank. Okay, go to ATM. Check the POS. Meet a friend. We are even talking of the money you own. But Allah is telling us, man, who, man, man is lazy. Where a man has a lazy. Who is it? Who is it that will provide for you? In Amsaka, in Amsaka Rizko, if Allah should decide to withhold his provision, you planted, it refused, you, 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 you visited your farm, and the whole thing, the seed and everything is destroyed. You know, even I used money as cash as example, you still have trust in Allah, because you know you have money somewhere, just that you don't have access. But now, the whole, the whole thing you have planted, the whole money, because you are not used to bank, you kept everything at home, and you were visited by with fire. Fire visited and burnt the whole thing. You planted because from the fire you cried, okay, let me go to my farm. You got there, the rice, the beans or things there, destroyed. If Allah should decide to withhold it, who will give to you? Balaju, Baltamada, rather, they remain, they continue. Fi utuwi in their pride. Fi takabur, Balaju. Yes, they know that nobody will give to them if Allah should withhold, if Allah should decide not to give. We are not talking of prayer now. No, things generally. Balaju, Allah said, Rada, Laju, Tamada, they remain, fear Otowi, in their pride. Wonufur, and uh, they go away from the truth. They know. But the pride, that's why we said, I, the, the, the feeling too big. How do I submit to this guy, to this boy? Somebody that you, you have known. You have even a chief before they give birth to him. You have been associating partner with Allah. You have been drinking your wine. You have been smoking your cigarette. You have been fornicating up and down. All of a sudden, he's visiting you and telling you, in al Humr, well, the man says, this is Surah have been reciting before they give by, before your father even had to recite So what are you telling me? That pride. Ah, you are telling me drinking is not good. This was what I did and I trained you and sent you to school. So what do you want to do today? In the world community, this is the way we live to fornicate. And uh, because you only manage to learn something you want to tell us, and how will I now feel that it was this small boy that gave a nasi and I listened to him? So Allah said, Balaju, they remain in that they are pride and they refuse to submit. This ayah is telling us that La had nobody that can give to you if Allah decides to withhold. And no one can withhold if Allah decides to give you. There's a hadith to that. That you should know. Anama ahtaka. That whatever misses you will not have get to you. That's a hadith. Anama asobaka. That whatever gets to you will not have missed you. You have that trust, but you must walk the trust. We mentioned three things needed in trust. You trust in you make your you, you put your trust in him, you make your prayer, you make the practical efforts, you realize by putting your trust in him after making your effort, and the result you accept it. So if you now pray, you struggle, you claim to trust in Allah, but the results came, ah, but ah, but ah, what ah, what's happening? Then you have not trusted. Because it's a condition that you must accept the result to come after it. Then Allah now gave example for the believers and the, to, and to the kufar. Yes, he has been talking about yes, the kufar now. But let's see. Allah now gave 
comparison, not exam, compare. You know, the example is to the non-Muslims, these two ayat. But here, Allah is now giving masalan. Let's compare between a mu'min and a kafir. Between someone who truthify, who believes in the oneness of Allah and the one who associates partner with Allah. He said, Afa mayyamshi mukibban ala wajihihi ahada amma yamshi sawiyan ala surat mustaqim. He said, Afa mayyamshi mukibban is he who walks in a disorganized way, in a stumbling way, in a way that his face is being further because he's not even sure of what he's going. He's not comfortable with the information we know now. You go out, the dad said, two o'clock, be home, and you are coming by three o'clock. What happened? You have gotten to the house. You will send your, is daddy at home? You know he used to be at home by this time. You will still say, is he at home? And you'll be checking. You know there is no how the dad will be in the in the in the in the corridor, you know by that time, but you'll be checking everywhere. And when finally you are going and you meet him, what happened? <laughs> you drop your head. Believing that since I'm not seeing him, he too will not see me. And that's when he will see you clearly. Because he's seen the head he has known for long. And for my Yamshi Mukiban, is he who walks in a scattered way? Allah wajihi on his face ahada more guided amayamshi sawiyan or he who walks upright and straight. We are not talking of the practical straight. So we are not saying you are going and see somebody walking and he saw and I say, ah, this is the man Allah has described in that ayah. Kai. The way he's walking is not working very straight. And then his leg that is paining him fast. So it's making him to ah, this is the kafir Allah has mentioned in Suratullah. In Stratul Bakarov. Then you now see one man. He's very straight in his movement. I say, Kai, this one must be a believer and give him the imam of your community. No. The one who walks in a way wandering about in misguidance. That's what we are talking about. Asad in his tafsir said, in misguidance. Because he's not always very certain of what to do. He is thinking and thinking more in disbelief. That everything he sees it in the deep, in opposite way. That's what you're talking about. When you're talking about Allah has done, you're looking at the opposite hand. What of when my child was sick? You said Allah is the one who heals. When my child was sick, so why did he die? You only see it from the opposite way. That, Come on to Allah, he'll give you money. Do you know for the past three days we did not eat? Let's go and pray. And there is still time now. He always looking at it from the other way. So, Allah said, can you compare such person? Is that person I had that more guided? Am I Yamshi Sawiyan? Or he who walks in a very straight and upright way. When he's going, he knows this is right. He knows this is alcohol. Allah said, don't go near it. He knows taking this is stealing. It's embezzlement. You know, we're doing different things. Stealing, embezzlement, cheating, or whatever you, uh, any way you call it. He knows and he has protected himself from it. We all might tell make our fears easy for us. Just looking at these two similarities, we know who is guided and who is not guided. That does not mean that a kafir, a disbeliever, who is insisting, who is now very, very confident that I am not worshipping Allah because he has not done anything, but he's confident now. You now say, no, he must be a believer. We are not talking of being confident in the way you talk now. We are just saying, we are going to see when Allah may, when, when Allah give other example that when we are saying you are guided, it is not just believing in Allah. You say, I believe in Allah, but there are other things you do. We mentioned in, in Hidina Surat al Mustaqim that we are talking of five guidance there, not just uh, the guidance of our, uh, no. From just this example, we know. That this one is very certain. He knows this is wrong, but he's falling victim. I know I should not steal, but I mistakenly I committed the the, the sin of theft. Yeah, Allah forgive me. And the one who said, eh, some people say it's about ah, Allah will ah, things are hard now. Allah, will, you are just troubling yourself. There are things that Allah will Allah will definitely just ah, Allah will definitely just understand. 
as if you are talking to even the, even the human being will tell you I don't understand. You have you have treated you are telling me I understand. We treat Allah as if Allah is a boy, you know the way you talk to someone. Far above are these descriptions, the way we look at Allah is far above all this. It is a question, but we know the truth and we know the answer. Because he said, Is this one better? The one who is not well directed, he's not well guided, he's always seeing things from the opposite side, he's not always comfortable. When we are talking about Allah, he's always eating, he's always bringing an excuse. Can you complain with the one that when you just say, This is Allah talking, you just say, Okay. Ah, even though it's, it's painful because I really struggled. I sent that boy to school. I mean, the, the, the day he did his NYSE POP, the following day he passed away. But, okay, that's, uh, that's the way Allah, Allah, Allah has designed it. You take it that way. You know, it's very painful. Um, Salama, when her husband, Abu Salama, passed away, Uvayama gave her that prayer. Inna lila wa inna ilayhi rajun. You say that, you pray Allah should give you better than it. She said, yes, it's a prayer from the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I took it that way. But I was thinking, is there anybody that can be better than Abu Salama? Ah, because of their love story, the way they lived. Because this is what we, are, we have been told, not just for her. When any Muslim calamity befalls you, you say it as short as it is. That Allah, Ajirini Min Allah, save you from this Muslim. And replace it with something better for me. So Allah should save me from the musibah. The test of my husband is gone. I understand that one. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun is understood. But a better replacement than Abu Salama is not possible. What happened? Prophet Muhammad came proposing to her. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Is Prophet Muhammad not more than Abu Salama? So just have that belief, that trust. That boy passed away. That son, who is who has already finished his service with his, uh, how do we call it? The copper's clothes after saluting on his way returning. Allah decreed the best for him and he met his Lord. And you say, hey, my enemy, they are at work. They do not see him since it is now. You don't know what, whether that will have been the child that will take you to Jahannam. Will I be a child that will not know you, that will cause problem to you? But that one that is still in primary three, because you look at him, eh, eh, what, what can this one do for me in life? I'm already 60 years, and this one is just in primary three. Only two children, because after giving you that one, nothing again until you are in primary three now. What will this one ever do to me? And she can now you lose hope, you are depressed. You don't, you don't know whether you live, how old you will live, and that child will assist. Or you don't know what Allah has designed, that maybe that boy, yes, he's too young, primary two, three, he will just win one scholarship. And the money to sponsor him will now extend to you. Ah, do we underrate things Allah can do? Are we not Muslims? What of Prophet Yusuf? I was thinking we'll, we'll take one other ayah, but we'll stop there. What of Prophet Yusuf? His story is the best, or it's one of the best stories for us if you are in trouble, if you are depressed. He had that dream in Nero Aitu. I had the Ashara Kaukaba, was Shams, was Komar, Ro'aitu, Li Sajidin. I saw 11 stars, the Shams, the sun, was Komar, the moon. I saw them prostrating before me, and this is to be a prophet tomorrow. And what is the role of the prophet is hack. The, the dream of prophet is, uh, is reality. It's true. Not you that will dream that, uh, you know, things are very hard. You dream that you are counting money, two, three, four, five thousand. Mm, as you are counting the tenth, the, the other one, somebody came to wake you. Or you are not, okay, no, but the pen did not interrupt your sleep. After counting carefully, you kept it under your pillow and you woke up, you saw that... Uh, it is your charger you kept under the pillow because you were looking for where to charge for before you slept. No, it's not like that. Then what happened? He cannot remain in his father's house having the elders there and attain a position for them to give him that respect. 
to start prostrating before him. Allah has to create a way to move him from that land. But to which land? It is not like today that I have my brother, my aunt, or my uncle staying in another country, in another state, in one village. But this is where he was born and they remain there. Will the father just tell him to go out? No. Allah created a way through his brothers to envy him, to take him, and to throw him in a well. Because they don't know anywhere to take him to. They cannot just start selling him. So they treat him in a well. Die there if you cannot kill yourself. Just, just die. Stay there. What happened? Caravan, they came. And they sent one to bring water. And he shouted, How's a gulam? <laughs> there is somebody here. They brought him out. What's the next thing? They sold him to a, a rich man, a big man, yes. And ordinarily, that rich man or that big man will have come and fetch water here. Yes. There is no other rich man or the, the, the man will go to the town of Prophet Yusuf and buy this boy as a slave. For where he belonged to the father. He got there. The Aziz. What happened between the wife and him happened. And what did he say? Rabbi, see you have a late. Prison is more preferred to me. You know, it looks, ah, why? The other prayer he should have done, yeah, Allah, jiggy jiggy this woman, scatter her head, do this. You know, we are very good in that prayer. Small tale, you don't call for Allah's guidance first. Prophet Muhammad, what prayer did he do? Yeah, Allah, stretching Islam with one of the Umar, Amr, Abu Jahal, Umar, Bono Khotob. Try that. Guide them if guidance is reaching for them. If not, destroy them. Our own is there. You say, Allah, Yeah, although he can never be guided. So just destroy him. As if you wrote the destiny with him. He got to prison. He was in prison. During the end in the prison, and what happened? Mention me to your king. If that boy would have mentioned Prophet Yusuf to the king. The king will have bailed him out, or will have bring him out, and maybe will have been given another responsibility. But Allah made Shaitan made him to forget. So Prophet Yusuf remained here for, not, for some years again, until the king had a dream, and uh, that was where he knew. Hey, there is one Yusuf that I met when we were in prison like this, and that was how he remembered him. If Prophet Yusuf. Did not go to prison. He wouldn't have met with that guy to interpret the dream for him to now refer the king to him. And he was brought. That was the time he now sought for clarification of what actually happened between him and the Imratul Aziz. Then finally, what happened? He said, He said, Oh, you king, make me the minister of finance. Yes. He said, yes, let me be in charge, the accountant of the, of the chief accountant of the federation of, of that place. Let me be in charge, minister of, uh, of finance. Let me handle the, the agriculture. And that was how he became in charge. And all was, so when you are going through difficulty, just be picturing Allah want to establish you somewhere. If you are not being sagged from where you are working, you will not think of Appear, uh, applying in another place because you are working in a particular place where you are being paid 20,000, you are living comfortably. Just one day, they just came and drop a letter, sag without any reason. And yeah, but why? Ah, ah, eh. These people, Allah will punish them the way I struggle for them. I made the organization too big. Then you now start looking for a job. That's why you now got another one of 40,000. If you had the remainder, you wouldn't have to think of that one. Another side, you now got another job. <laughs> Alekia, your salary is now 7,000 or 5,000. <laughs> Every month when they pay you salary, as you are collecting it, the first thing is, oh, Allah, so you know sometimes, you will think the prayer we are doing in English is not say, Allah will not accept it quickly. So you have to even translate it into Arabic. You get to meet somebody. Please, how do you translate in Arabic? 
Who oh, Allah destroy that organization? You put the name. Oh, Allah destroy them for sacking me. That's Allah. Who made the mirror? Who made the mirror? Tell me, Mr. Jaiotim, Mr. Jim, all those other these things. So that is the design. The Almighty Allah grant us the ability to always see the, the the wisdom behind things He has decreed for us. Salman Al Farisi, his story is dear too. One of the most beautiful stories we have. The man in search of truth. Somebody who was living with his father, he's in charge. For you to know his position, the father is in charge of the, 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 the idols, that's the fire people worship. And he was placed because of the love his father had for him. The father don't used to let him go out. So he's in charge of always kindling, adding more fire. But what happened when he left? He became a slave. He was looking for, for guardian somewhere else. It was when he became a slave that he was taken to the place he was looking for guidance. If not, he wouldn't have gotten there. So is that's the design of Allah. In our next uh, meeting, where we we'll meet Allah willing, we'll be taking from Ayah 23, where Allah established us as that it is He who has created you, originated you. Maybe if, if, if Allah permits us that day, we'll now look at it. He said He originated. Let us quickly we'll quickly look at. The story, brief, brief, very short, as we said, that we are not, we are, our aim is not to discuss everything, because we can't even discuss it. It's just to give us glimpse, gist of every ayah. So we'll give ourselves gist of some of those originating of Allah again. Prophet Adam, how he was created, why was he even created? Yes, and sometimes we blame, even Muslims, unfortunately, we do that. Unfortunately, we blame Prophet Adam that we are in the world. Yeah, the Christians, they do it very well. But unfortunately, Muslims are doing it. We are going to see that day, inshallah, that let us go back to what Allah said. <laughs> we remember the statement, In ilun, in Allah said, I'm going to place on the earth. Originally, Allah has designed us to come to the world now. <laughs> no, Allah did not say, Inija ilun, fila jannah. Originally, Allah said, I'm going to place on the earth. So, Prophet Adam was only placed there for the main time because something has to be executed. And just like we mentioned just now, it has to be executed that way for it to become clear that I uh, are uh, the commander in chief of all evil forces, the executive director of evil shaitan. So, practically, he saw it. Yes. So, unfortunately, Muslims, ah, if not for Prophet Adam, hi, will have been in paradise. So. <laughs> will it will have been sweet? Ah, for Allah to design it this way, it will not be sweet. What? I don't know. Ah, it means they will have no be doctor. We won't have no what is who is a doctor. We won't have no, and I uh, know uh, it's, it's not sweet now. Would I have teacher flogging people in the class if you misbehave? And no, 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 no smart word. No, 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 no. How about it? You're playing one time now. Ah, no, now. Wa akhir da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.